Hello everyone, it is Namek97 here. I'm bringing you a different kind of video from Call of Duty. I'm bringing you a, well, uh, well, I'll say Black Ops 2, a Battlefield 3 commentary. And you go, Namek97, why are you playing Battlefield 3? The reason why I'm playing Battlefield 3 is E3 is still going on. I think it's the last day, actually, tomorrow. But it's still going on, and they unveiled Battlefield 4's trailer. And I watched the Battlefield 4 trailer, and oh my god. I am so excited. I love, what, even like when Battlefield 3, I remember when trailers were coming out, I was so excited for that game. And now that I've seen the Battlefield 4 trailer, it looks really awesome. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys, if you guys want to watch the trailer for it. The Siege of Shanghai, I think it is. It's really cool how they showed off everything. I've seen even like multiplayer gameplay, too, of other YouTubers doing it. But... Regardless, the game looks really clean, smooth, better than Battlefield 3 almost. The graphics look just awesome, and I'm excited for it when it does come out. But, that's what I wanted to kind of talk about today was Battlefield 4, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was, is, also I've seen stuff in Battlefield 4 where the kits are actually all the same, like there's still Assault, uh, or Medic, there's an Engineer still, there's Support, and there's Recon. That's all the same, everything's just... New graphics, new guns, that's about it. But, the other thing I was talking about was E3. A lot of other games I'm excited for, obviously. Call of Duty Ghost I'm excited for. Um, I saw the Call of Duty Ghost campaign thing. They talked about the dog that they showed in the campaign. It's a cool concept, I guess, but, I mean, it's okay, you know. The campaign looks just like any other Call of Duty campaign, in my opinion, really. But, more about... E3 and what's been happening at E3. Xbox One, they showed some more images, and not images, but people got to test out the controllers. They've actually released the actual price of the Xbox One, along with the PS4 price. I believe the Xbox One price is $499, and PS4's price is $399. If you guys are wondering, I'm definitely probably going to get an Xbox One. Look at that double kill I just picked up. <laughs> Regardless, I'm probably going to get an Xbox One. Um, I've, I mean, I played with a PS2 when I was younger, but I've had a 360 for like two or three years now, and I don't know. I, I feel like I would just stick with 360. I feel like Xbox has a better, they perform better on an online service than PlayStation does. I don't. I just feel like PlayStation Network is just so wonky. You know, everyone's like, "Oh, Xbox One's going to suck." You know, it's uh, you can't play offline or whatever it is. Like, you can't be. I, there's so many rumors of the Xbox One, like, it's not even funny, like, the whole thing with, um, used games, that was funny. PS4, if you weren't just watching, PS4 did a, they did, like, a video to make, kind of make fun of, uh, PS4, and, or, not PS, PS4 made fun of Xbox, or Microsoft. Sony made fun of Microsoft, and they made fun of them in the sense that PS4 made a, a video where it was, like, how to, or it was, like, how to share used games and they were like <laughs> they're like how to share used games and he just hands him the game he's like here you go this is how you share on a ps4 like they're just making fun of microsoft because microsoft can't share I apparently uh, microsoft xbox one says that games on xbox one can't be shared between other people i, I don't know why it, it can't do that for some reason the only thing that makes me mad too is ps4 is not even doing it either the backwards capability, like, it's so dumb, like, 360 headsets don't work with Xbox One, none of the 360 games will even run on the Xbox One, like, it's just, everything 360 is gone. Like, I, I don't know, I feel like, is it really that hard to make the backwards compatible? I, I'm not a big, I don't make consoles, obviously, but I don't even know how hard it is, like, maybe it's just a thing they don't want to do, like, I don't know, but... Regardless, probably gonna get an Xbox One. It's a little pricey. It's a hundred dollars. The only thing people are saying is, "Well, oh, Microsoft's just trying to rip us off." It's a hundred dollars more than Sony's, and Sony probably purposely sold theirs for less just because they knew, like, right off the bat when the Xbox reveal happened, everyone went like PS4. It would be really funny too if when the consoles actually launched, if PS4 just fucked up, and if all the people who used to be Xbox like fanboys. PS4, and then their system or something, they get, what if they got hacked again like PS3, oh man, 
That would make my day if that happened. I would laugh so hard, but regardless, I think Xbox One will be okay, PS4 will be okay, both consoles are pretty great, um, but, you know, everything should be dandy. So, I was finishing up this gameplay, and you'll see a bunch of times in this gameplay, I'll talk about the PF3 for a little bit, this gameplay, I get melted by shotguns, like, three times, maybe not, I get melted by shotguns, like, right, okay, watch, two guys, pop, pop, pick up both of them, that guy runs over there, and watch, I go right into the door, oh, I hate that, snipers that use shotguns, it makes me mad too, I wish you could disable that, like, make like one class use shotguns, not snipers, because people aren't gonna snipe, it's just, you know, it feels like cheating to me, I don't know, so, I believe, I don't know if we actually won this game, <laughs> I should have watched the gameplay before I recorded it, I would have played it like five minutes ago too, <laughs> um, I don't know if we won this one, I, I feel like we did, Maybe? I, I really don't know. I hope we did. <laughs> um, so, basically, what should I talk about? Oh, BF4. They did this cool scene, too, where you can actually ride the elevator. BF4. They went up in this tall building. And they did the same kind of thing they did with, like, Battlefield 3. They kind of hyped us, where, like, they made, like, these giant buildings, like, collapse. I remember in the BF3 trailers. But that never happened, though, like, in this game. Like... There's no, like, really big buildings that come down. Like, when they showed in the Battlefield 4 trailer, it was, like, this ginormous skyscraper that was coming down on you. Like, I hope that's actually in the game, because if it would be, it'd be really cool. But I don't know if it would be. It could be just for show, like, showing off their game, you know? It could be, like, from, like straight from the campaign, and we, we didn't even notice, you know? Like, I, I really don't know. But this gameplay is about to wrap itself up. Um, I switched controllers because I actually have a scuff controller currently, which is kind of pointless because I can't even use a scuff on Xbox One, so it's like a waste of money. But, I switched controllers because apparently it doesn't let me fire, because I have trigger stops and it won't let me fire a shotgun. But, it was too late anyway because the match already ended. And, I will see you guys later, so, peace.